Hi, I am Sandro Gauci from Enable Security and this time I'm going to show you how we discovered security flaws in OpenX by making use of features from Acunetics Web Vulnerability Scanner. I will also be demonstrating how to exploit blind SQL injection. So, as you can see, we have a working installation of OpenX with some sample information over here a sample campaign and a sample banner and I have also configured PHP to make use of AccuSensor so we should be good to go and we can now start a scan so I'm going to make use of the AccuSensor profile and make sure that AccuSensor technology is enabled this will probably take a while, so it's always a good idea to go make some coffee and come back later. So now we're back with the full scan. It's, it, the scan is ready and Acunetics found a couple of security vulnerabilities, SQL injection, carriage return, line feed injection, arbitrary file deletion, and what we're interested in right now is the SQL injection vulnerability. We can see uh, what SQL statements the PHP script is passing to the SQL server. And over here, there is an injection vector. So we can actually test this particular vulnerability by making use of the HTTP editor in Acunetics. From the HTTP editor, we can do some manual testing. You can view the AccuSensor data over here and see what SQL statements are being sent to the SQL server. This is the SQL statement that we are interested in. So we can modify the cookie to inject our own SQL code. And I'm going to make use of the benchmark method because it is one of the very few ways to exploit an SQL, a blind SQL injection vulnerability. By making use of the benchmark method, we give the SQL server something to do and if it takes a while to do that then, then, then it means that our code is being run so it's going to encode test with test for a couple of times I actually forgot to encode the cookie, so that's why it did not work. This time it took a bit longer. And we can see that it looks like a correct SQL statement. So what I'm going to do is increase the number of times that benchmark runs. Notice that it takes a longer longer time to return. Okay, so what I did is I prepared a, a script which exploits this vulnerability to get the MD5 hash of the administrator password and then crack that password. name of the server and the location of OpenX and this is going to exploit the tjs.php script it's trying to find the optimal 
um, number of benchmark rounds to test with. And it's now getting the MD5 hash character by character. This can be quite slow, but it works. And after receiving the MD5 hash, we can then run an offline attack on the MD5 hash to retrieve the uh, password. The password is acrylic1. The latest version of OpenX fixes these security issues. So if you did not upgrade yet, upgrade your copy now. Hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Until next time, goodbye.